So I can't believe I have to say this again, but we have another week with extremely cold temperatures. What should you do with your Tesla in extreme cold to ensure you always have range? Well, this is good if you have a Tesla or maybe you're thinking about buying one. Number one, you can charge your Tesla from time to time to 100%, and that will solve any issues you may have with range anxiety. You hear a lot of people say, well, the range is affected in the extreme cold, and it is, but your battery is not going to be damaged by occasionally charging to 100%. A few times a year, not a big deal. Number two, there's certain settings on your Tesla that will allow you to save range. In your dynamic function, the setting of your Tesla, lower the acceleration from standard to chill. And what that'll do is it'll use a little less battery the faster you drive and more aggressively you drive in the freezing cold, the faster that battery will fall. And also a lot of people don't use this function and it's actually a good way to get free charging and supercharging. It's this, that voice command function on my steering wheel will pull up multiple options. A single lightning bolt, which will be the public chargers. Oftentimes, not always, there'll be free chargers included in things like hotels, shopping centers as perks. So you can get some coffee or do some shopping and find one of these public chargers and get free charging, oftentimes. Again, not always. Number two is the three lightning bolt setting. So you say nearest supercharger, and that'll pull up all the Tesla superchargers. So if you're ever worried about range in the winter, don't be, because between the two of those settings, the single lightning bolt and the triple lightning bolt, the public and superchargers, you will be covered. Now you know.